Hey everybody, on this video got a uh, Schlage deadbolt. It's actually out of a out of a deadbolt here, just a cylinder, and I've taken the cap off because uh, our plan is to use the new uh, Schlage SC1 Lishi to pick it. And then uh, in this video, we're going to just gut it here so you can see um, what's inside of it here. It should have four spool pins in it. And then um, I'll do some decoding videos too. Just not going to not going to do it on this first one here. We're just going to just pick it and gut it, or at least at least try anyway. Um, messing around with this thing a tad, it seems to have a little more of a uh, learning curve than the quick set one does. I guess probably because Schlage just is probably a little bit better of a cylinder as far as uh, hardware store stuff goes. So, number one, springy. Two, springy. Three. Okay, three is a little bit rigid. We're just feathering it here. Okay, a little click on three. Four springy. Okay, five is kind of rigid. Okay, a little click on five. We've got a false set. I'll go back to one here. Okay, one is really stiff. And so we got counter rotation. Okay, lost or false set. Two springy, three springy, four springy. Go back to five here. Five is what gave us our false sets. So I would think that's the standard pin. And usually these slag deadbolts generally have four spools and one standard. The five is the standard here. We get this back to our false set. We got to one here. Okay, one stiff again. Let me skip it this time. Go to two, two springy, three. Okay, four is also stiff. Let me try four this time. So the counter rotating. And big click on four. Lost the false set again. Let me start over here. Yeah, this one has uh, yeah, just been messing with it here just for a few minutes, and um, more the cylinder open fairly easily with it. But those, of course, are all standard pins. And the other thing too, if it's um. Uh, not the greatest pick in the world. You know, I pick locks fairly well. If I can pick them, you can always, after they're picked, stick this in and use it to decode them. Okay, now this time three put us into a false set, so. Definitely gonna be curious to see what's inside of it. Okay, one is stiff. Okay, it's kind of rotated. I didn't lose the false set that time. We go to two here. Okay, now two is stiff. Okay, and yeah, we're open, so it wasn't too bad. And then if we wanted to, we could uh, could decode it here. Be uh, four, three, four, three, seven, nine. Eight, I think. I think four, three, seven, nine, eight. All right, let's let's uh 
Got this thing here. Let me zoom out. Pull the leashy out. Don't mind a little longer video. I might go try to cut a key to that bidding. I wrote it down. I wrote four, three, seven, nine, eight is what I wrote down. And key pins, of course, are just going to be all standard pins. Oh, I forgot to mention that I sprayed a ton of uh, tri flow in this thing earlier today. I got this this morning. Now it's about one o'clock in the morning, and I uh, I didn't get a chance to uh, fool around that very long. So I actually had to work, which, as we all know, is uh, for the birds, I guess. Although it does allow you to buy fun stuff like these leashes, I guess. So one is a spool. Two is a spool. Three is a spool. Four is a spool. I think five is going to be standard. Yep. So, just leave the springs in there. We want the trifle off the follower. So, for pins, then we do have you know normal what you normally see in an actual Schlage, and this is a Schlage brand cylinder. I pulled this out of a uh, deadbolt on a business several months ago and set it aside for when I was getting this leashy. You know, you see the pins there. You know, four spools and a standard. And then um, I guess um, since I decoded it, let me go cut a key and we'll uh, see if the uh, bidding is right on it. So I will go do that and be uh, right back here. All right, so uh, cut a key to 43798 and just um, load it up here and just eyeball it. Looks pretty good to me. So if I reload the uh, cylinder here and just do it, do it quick. All right, so that was fast. Let's see if uh, so it looks like it. Uh, there might be one depth, maybe a hair off, because it's kind of clicking. But um, that'll at least get you in the door anyway, you know, if you pick it backwards or something. Or and I definitely decoded one of them wrong, is my guess anyway. See if we can figure it out here. Maybe the third one. I had it as a... Uh, Seven, but you know the cool thing about the leashy is if uh, the lock is turned, you can always stick the leashy back in, and um, yeah, we can go to position number three. And yeah, three looks like it's actually a six now that I'm pushing on it, so that's my mistake. Uh, but you know, with Schlag, you know, if you're one depth off, uh, you can still get the key to usually turn. So it looks like that is a six. This is going, it's going all the way to six here. Hopefully, you guys can see that. So that's a uh, user error here, but it's the first time I've uh, first time I've fooled around with it. But um, pretty cool works. Um, and uh, stay tuned here. I'm gonna be posting um, a few more videos. I've got a F series doorknob, some mortise cylinders, some other stuff. So uh, hopefully everybody uh, enjoyed that. And uh, if you did, like, subscribe, share all that fun stuff. And we'll uh, we'll talk to everybody later.